page 599, number 67. Find the partial sum, and we're looking for the sum as n equals 1 up to 50 of n. So this means we're going to start by plugging 1 in place of n. We'll end after we plug 50 in place of n. So if I plug 1 in there, I get 1, plus if I plug 2 in there, I get 2, plus if I plug 3 in there and 4 in there, plus etc, 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 up until we have plugged the number 50 into that expression. Okay, so we need to add these numbers up. Now we could find all these and add them up, but that would take us a while. We have a formula that might help us out. The formula is for the sum of, now my formula needs to be the sum of an arithmetic sequence because we are adding a constant number every time. So that formula looks like this, s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So in this case, we're looking for the sum of the first 50 terms. So the sum of the first 50 terms equals n, the term number, which is 50 divided by 2, times a sub 1, which is the first term, plus a sub n, which is the 50th term. So my sum is going to equal 50 divided by 2 is 25, times 1 plus 50, which is 51. 25 times 51, let me just pull my calculator out quick. And my sum of those terms is going to be equal to 1,275.